So a distributed system is a collection of nodes which are interconnected by a local area network or a wide area network. And this local area network may be implemented using a twisted pair, coaxial cable, or optical fiber. And if it is a wide area network, it could be implemented using a satellite communication or microwave links and so on. And the media access protocols that may be available for communication of these nodes on a local area network or a wide area network, maybe ATM or Ethernet and so on and so forth. That's sort of the picture of what a distributed system is, number one. Number two, there's no physical memory that is shared between nodes of the distributed system. So the only way nodes can communicate with one another is by sending messages on the local area network to one another. So there is no shared memory for communication between the nodes of the, of the distributed system. No physical memory for communication between the nodes of the distributed system. And the third property is the fact that the event computation time, that is the time it takes on a single node to do some meaningful processing. That computation time is what we are calling as the event computation time, that is TE. And a node may also communicate with other nodes in the system, and that's what we are calling as the communication time or the messaging time, TM. And the third property of a distributed system is that the time for communication between nodes in the system, TM, is much more, uh, significantly larger than the event communication time. So these are the three properties which I would like to think of to make sure that we have a shared understanding of what we mean by a distributed system, that they are connected by some sort of a local area network or a wide area network uh, collection of nodes, and they don't physically share memory, so the only communication, only way they can communicate with one another is via messages that are sent between the nodes using the local area network, and the third property is the fact that the message communication time is significantly larger than the event computation time that happens on a single node. You probably remember our good friend Leslie Lamport. I introduced you to him when we talked about parallel systems and I said that we will see him again. Uh, in parallel systems, he's the one who gave us the notion of sequential consistency. And he's the same person that we're going to be talking about in this lecture, Leslie Lamport, and in particular, Lamport has a definition for a distributed system, and the definition of a distributed system verbatim goes like this. A system is distributed if the message transmission time, TM, is not negligible to the time between events in a single process. So this is the time between events in a single process, this is the message transmission time, and so the definition that Le Leslie Lamport gives is that a system is distributed if the message transmission time, TM, is not negligible compared to the time between events in a single process. What is the implication of this definition? Interestingly, even a cluster is a distributed system by this definition. We've been talking about clusters a lot when we discuss parallel systems, and I told you that clusters are the workhorses of data centers today. Even a cluster is a distributed system by this definition because processes have become blazingly fast, and so the event computation time has shrunk quite a bit. On the other hand, the message communication time is also becoming better, but not as fast as the computation time that happens on a single processor. And therefore, even in a cluster, which is all contained in a single rack in a data center, the message transmission time is significantly more than uh, the event time. And so even a cluster is a distributed system by this definition. The importance of this inequality is in the design of algorithms that are going to span the nodes of the network. What we want to make sure, because the message transmission time is so significantly larger than the event computation time on a single node, in structuring applications that run on distributed nodes of a system like this, one has to be very careful to make sure that the computation time in the algorithms that we're designing is significantly more than the communication time. Otherwise, we are not going to reap the benefits of parallelism if most of the time we are communicating. That's the reason why this definition of distributed system is extremely important.